in today's video I'm going to be playing three two minutes plus one second increment bullet games trying to explain what I'm thinking as I play despite the fast time control and hopefully you guys enjoy it please let me know if you do with a like subscribe and comment if you would like we have a King's Indian with h3 which is fairly typical I do like to play c5 in these lines rather than e5 taking is odd um, normally white pushes d5 um, okay interesting I think knight a6 control to c7 square in case of knight to b5 <clears throat> I assume that's the point of bishop to f4. A3, okay. Stopping us from going here. Could play knight here, attacking the bishop and opening up this. Could also play bishop e6, but then knight here. I like this. I think I want to take. Even though we're trading off our dark squared bishop, I do like it. Now... We're going to attack this pawn. So we have to get the knight out of the way to take, right? And now we jump in. We attack this. We're going to... What are we going to do? 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 I like h6. Because I want to go bishop e6, but I... Well, I suppose he wasn't actually threatening that because our knight defends it. But it also gives our knight an escape square. So our knight is kind of stranded. You also can't really attack it unless, well, that you can't even play that. Let's go bishop e6. So if bishop here, we can take. So this bishop's kind of tied down to the defense. We're also keeping an eye on the h3 pawn, with the bishop. So we're targeting two weak pawns. His bishop is also horrible now. Okay, I think we can just take this. Stopping from castling. This knight could do with a new home. Can we not play this? Maybe he wants bishop f3. Bishop f3, knight d2. Attacks to bishop and the knight is under attack. The knight has no way out. We also attack c4, but no one cares about c4. Okay. Oh, wait, why did I do that? We can take with the knight. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, but we're up a pawn. We're up a pawn. I... Although he could take on b7, but... Mm, okay. Poor move from me. I don't know why I did that, but that's bullet. His bishop is still horrible. Where's our knight going? Maybe like this? Now we don't want to take him, because then we give him control of the file. If he takes us, we get control of the file. I don't know why he took. Okay. I want to try and play rook here. I don't know if he can stop that. Well, he can play that. I'm actually going to take and then get my rook into the second rank. 14 seconds. Going to have to hurry up a bit. I say that while not playing a move. We'd give him the D file there, but I don't really see what else I can do. Pawn's pinned. Don't really like that move. 
this is falling apart a bit. No time. Oh no, he's got Rook there. Phew. Missed that. Why am I not pushing this pawn? Nice. Swindle time. Boom. That was a horrible game. I don't know why I, in this position, I could have just taken the knight. Just, just knight takes. I was a bit worried about this, but I have knight back here. And then I have two pieces for the Rook, which is obviously winning. That was terrible. But it's Bullet. We're still very, very winning. This is good. Hmm, I didn't see this. Yeah, that's a lot better than what I did. Take the Knight here was unnecessary. I just give up a pawn. I mean, I've I've got one second, but White was completely winning, I'm sure, because um, surely he has this. Although, actually, this doesn't work because I take that, and it comes with check, and I'm just up so many pawns. Oh, apparently I can't take the... <laughs> okay. Okay, that's bullet chess. We won. We won. So game one done. We're up 1-0. Against Takaro. Let's play this little gambit line. I've played this gambit line in a few games that I've gone over on the channel. So if you're interested in a bit of the theory behind it, please check that out. It should be on the thumbnail. We've actually faced this before on the channel. Now this is not good for black. Now is it knight f4 or knight g3? I think knight g3. So if we go f4 and take, he can take with the pawn and open up his rook. I don't really want to want to allow that. But the inclusion of h3, g4 means we can play bishop g2 instantly. Let's go queen e2. We've got four attackers now. And we're going to take. Hmm. Let's castle queenside. I want to go h5. We're looking at these moves. Open our bishop up. I think we take with the bishop. Yeah. Get it on this diagonal. We can always drop it back to d3. Let's go with g5. We play a5 to stop a4. And if this gets played, we can take on c6. Okay. Now we have to meet this move with king b1, because after this, we can drop our bishop back. If our king's on c1, then our bishop is bishop, bishop is pinged to the king, so we can't do that. Okay. He's kind of threatening that now. He is kind of threatening that. Bishop d3, though. We 
also introducing this. I missed that. Didn't miss that. But could take here. But our pawn structure gets ruined because we're gonna have to take back with the C pawn. What? Okay, what happens if we take? I actually don't believe this works. I don't believe this works. So our king is actually quite safe. And we're going to bring our rook to the B file. expecting this let's go here I want to play this to try and kick the queen out c3 works Okay, now I want to bring the bishop back here. He does have this move. Let's do this. This might be winning. He doesn't play it. No time for either of us. I want to go queen here. Bloody hell, what am I thinking so long for? So I really can't talk, so I'm trying very hard. <sighs> Man. I'm sure we're winning. Yeah, I need to continue my attack. I don't think we were ever losing. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I thought B7, uh, B2 sorry, wins because he can bring a rook to the file. Here. Ah, oh, the queen's under attack, so we can't actually take. Huh. Well, I just ran out of time. I need to move a bit quicker in the opening. I need to move a bit quicker. Ah, oh, bloody Scandi. Bloody Scandi. Okay. Now I like this setup. Again, I've played this in a previous video. The idea is that c4 comes with tempo on the queen, which is why we delay knight c3, so we can get our pawns like this. Um, where do my pieces want to go? I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring a rook to d1. I like getting my bishop being ketoed, but I'm not sure. I think I might just bring it to f4. Well, now I'm definitely bringing it to f4. We were threatening knight g6. Queen c8. I'm going to play for d3. I'm going to double up, and we might swing over to the king side. In fact, we are going to do exactly that. Ooh, that's a concession. How do we make you? How, how do we exploit this? This looks right to me. This just looks right. 
couldn't really explain why. Okay. Yeah, I do like this. I oh, probably should have gone to F3. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. Pawns pinned, and we win. I was waiting for that move. Um, which is why I wanted to keep... Because initially I wanted to play Queen to E3. But Knight here was quite annoying. So I needed to keep the Queen on this diagonal. So that I could take the Knight. And if he played a move like King H8. Probably Bishop 2H6. I wonder. Was Knight. I considered H4 but I thought it was bad. Because this pawn is undefended. But I suppose. This is a threat. Because of the pin. And if he moves the king to get out the pin, he hangs the pawn. Computer wants this. Yeah, this looks good. This looks very good. So there we go. That is um, the three games. Two wins and a loss. We had... Um, what was it? I mean, we, we, we probably should have won the second game, but... Just ran out of time, which is frustrating. Um, but, I mean, it's interesting nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed the bullet games, please let me know. Um, I don't know whether you, pref you prefer slower games where I can explain a bit more in depth what my thought process is. Or whether bullet games are just more exciting and you literally don't care about the educational aspect. Which, I mean, each to their own. <laughs> like, you can like whatever you want. Uh, at the end of the day, my goal is to educate and entertain, you know, anyone who's watching, you guys. So please let me know what you enjoy. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.